Python on hardware. Speaking of Python on hardware. Okay, Lady Ada. Code plus community, our newsletter, Adafruit Daily, sign up. We have a completely separate website because we don't want you to be spammed or even think that we spam you. Adafruit.com is where you buy stuff. Learn.adafruit.com is where you learn stuff. And Adafruit Daily is where you subscribe to newsletters. And Adafruit Playground is where you make show off stuff yeah. you made. So the newsletter, you don't have to subscribe. You can even read it on the website. You get an access feed. It's on GitHub. GitHub. We got every way. So this week on the newsletter, there's benchmarking Native Fruit Metro M7 versus Raspberry Pi Pico Lady Ada. This is kind of cool. What is this? this? Is Why it? is this cool? This is cool. Okay, so CircuitPython, look, I'm never going to say CircuitPython is the fastest running code, but it's definitely the fast way to develop code. It's a lot faster than C or assembly because you're not spending all your time compiling and uploading, compiling, uploading your, it's interpreted, so it's instantaneously executed. Uh, but because, of, you know, there is a slowdown with interpreted code, there always is, a lot of people are like, well, I want to have, you know, what's the fastest chip that can run the code because maybe for some application speed is important. Um, and it's, you know, they don't want to write any C code that gets called from Python. So um, two really popular chipsets is one is the uh, Metro M7. We've kind of, uh, you know, we did this as a partnership with DigiKey and NXP. Um, thank you to them for sponsoring the board development. And this is a, you know, a Metro shape board that has the RT1011 and the RT1011 runs at 500 megahertz. It's a Cortex M7. And so that's, this is a beefy chip. It's, it's high frequency and a pretty powerful core with a floating point unit. Um, so it's actually great for circuit Python also have a good amount of RAM. Um, but a lot of people also have a Raspberry Pi Pico and that's a Cortex M0 running at about like 130 megahertz. And so, um, people are like, well, how much faster is the M7? And it's like, well, it's probably going to be like four times faster, but it actually depends. If you're using the floating point unit, it's going to be even more faster. Oh, GitHub. Yeah. So here's, um, a really nice benchmark test that shows a lot of different things that you can do each application and how long it takes to do like a repetitive test that, you know, you do this operation 10,000 times and then, you know, so it takes a couple seconds and you can compare it. And in general, the M7 is about, you know, five to eight times faster on almost everything, which makes sense because it's about four times faster on the speed. And then the chip is a you know new model chip. So it's going to give you another, um, you know, two or three times, um, but check it out. Uh, and also what I really like is they have a, a laptop as well. Um, and that's kind of fun because it's just like, well, you know, how much faster is it yeah. on a computer? And it's like computers are very, very good at running interpreted code because yeah. you have like gigahertz and, multi core processors. Yeah. And this is like, you know, not a rant or anything, but just like one of the things I noticed. So when folks are like, hey, like, cool, I'm doing Python on microcontrollers, the, the idea that that's going to be the most optimized bare metal way to do something is not the point of that's doing point. interpretive languages on hardware. It's so you can do things in a development process that's fast as possible, later on, you're always going to do stuff. If you do Arduino, you're going to write C code later. If you do um, CircuitPython, you'll probably do other stuff later. But the chips are fast enough, and you'll be able to do a lot more. And then you can optimize later, just like hardware. Sometimes you have a development board that has all the things in the world. But then when you go to manufacturing, it's only the things that are you know, bare minimum. So there's no intention of like, hey, this is going to be the fastest thing in the world, but it is pretty fast. So that's kind of cool, too. Um, but it's not the intention to be the um, uh, benchmark winner of every single thing. But it is interesting to check. But out. this is still good to know if you're if you're running something on the Pika and you're like, oh, man, you know, like this, for some reason, you need a faster computation. Yeah. And you're like, well, how much faster would the M7 be? Um, this can give you an idea without having to go buy hardware. Yeah. Anyways. Thank you. Uh, it's also a community member did this. We didn't do this. That's very nice. Yeah. Um, also, if you're into Circuit Python, we do posters for each version, or we try to. Um, we have a new poster vendor, um, which is uh, the posters are cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. It's you know here here's one of the things. Um, people were doing like you know NFTs and digital stuff. Uh, we never did. Um, so posters. yeah, we like to do physical posters. It's just hard to find some. It's hard to find someone in the U.S. who's doing posters at a reasonable price that we can get tubes from. Um, there was also there's some packaging companies that people don't like. So these the tubes that they come in are from Uline. If you're not a fan of that company, there's all sorts of minefields that you have to like navigate around when you do anything. Um, but we have a low cost, lowest cost poster we can get with tubes from 
um, a company. All it's all local stuff. So hopefully y'all will enjoy it. And then um, a little bit of a note: it's Circuit Python 2024 time. If you go to adafruit.com/slash/CircuitPython2024, um, you can see our call to the community. What do you want to see in Circuit Python? Stuff that you wanted previous years. Some of it got. Yeah, there. you can look at the previous years um and see what you asked for and if it got in there um it's getting to the point where it's really advanced and you can do lots of different things so tell us what's interesting what you want to see more of um i really like all the screen stuff we're doing you can basically make a full computer um so seeing more easy ways to kind of mix and match like i've got a circuit python powered keyboard and a screen and a mouse and a, you know i got yeah, all these different things of, yeah lots of going on got all these different things um what's the thing that you would like to see a project example is a really good idea and then just look around at the projects that are out there and just be like oh wow this is like really neat um i'd like to do this i would see it in this programming language i like to see it in like circuit python that always helps us okay so Ada for daily delivered to you at your inbox every single week don't forget Okay.